Tamika time, and this is my Jersey Shore Season 3, Episode 6 recap. First off, f Sam and Ron. I'm done, I'm over, I'm done. In this week's episode, it started out with Jay Wow and Sam being friends at Karma and saying, I love you, I love you, so the drama's over. Everybody's having a good time, everybody's dancing, and Sam sees Ron drinking, and she's like, oh, you're drinking? And he's like, Ah, whatever, I just had one corona and a shot and you say that I'm drinking all crazy? Everyone leaves Karma and they walk back to the house. The guys are bringing home grenades for some reason and the girls, they got dudes with them. So Ron walks in and he passes out in the living room and he's hungry and he's telling Sam to go heat up food for him. So then he runs upstairs and he lays down and Sam's all in his face and she's like, oh, here's food and she's literally sticking food in his face. She's so annoying. And he's like, no, 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 I'm gonna throw up. So he throws up in a bag that's near the bed. I didn't know that the situation was right next to them. He had a chick in his bed and he was trying to get it in while Ron was throwing up and Sam screaming like, oh my God, you're throwing up. The next day, everyone wakes up and the dogs are barking. They're right by Jay Wow's bed. So she gets up, Snooki is in the dog pit. The two dogs are like, ruff, 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 and Snooki is passed out. I remember tweeting, oh my God, is Snooki dead? She looked like she died. Jay Wow is literally lifting Snooki off the ground to go put her in bed. Sam and Ron wake up, and Ron's just like, oh man, my stomach's upset, I don't know what's wrong. So he told her that when he goes to the bathroom, there's blood. So now Ron's bleeding out of his ass. They go to the doctor. So they show Ron at the hospital, and he's laying up on the doctor's table. The camera's facing him, and the doctor is gonna stick his hand in Ron's butt. I thought that was a good girlfriend move. You know, your dude's saying that he's bleeding from the butt, and of course, you gotta go support him, go to the doctor with him. Ron basically said that the doctor told him, because of all his drinking, that he messed up his a-hole. That's what, that, <laughs> those were Ron's words. I just think that this cast, they're really getting personal with us. It's just like, everyone's talking about asses in every episode. Remember last episode? Dina was tossing Dean salad, and now this. Crazy. Jay Wild and Snooki, they went to the pharmacy to run errands. Of course, Snooki has to act silly and she started riding on a little like tricycle and she ends up falling. Like she was trying to make a turn and she just busted her ass and then she broke the handle. You could tell that the people that worked there kept looking at them. Now it's nighttime and the guys go back to Karma, but this time Ron has his homeboys there. They're all just like him. They're all Juice head, gorilla monkeys. Dina is just like, oh my God, I love the biggest juice head out of the crew, this dude named Dario. He just straight up was dancing with her and grabbed her, let's <laughs> go crazy. Don't let dudes do that. But this is Dina, I guess. She's a holiday. While Dina's outside dancing with Dario, this dude named Jeff, he's over there in the club with Snooki and they're all making out and she's like, oh, he's so perfect. I'm gonna take him home with me. Everyone goes back to the house and Snooki is excited about this dude and she wants to take him upstairs and she wants to do whatever she's gonna do. They show Snooki rolling around and she's like, oh my God, he's ready to do moves on me. That's gross. All of a sudden she's like, oh no, my period. She didn't plan this out before. What happened, Snooki? Dina, on the other hand, she just wanted to cuddle and she kept saying, oh, I don't sleep with guys on the first date. This isn't Halloween. I'm not giving away candy, blah, 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 something about a golden ticket. The next scene, they show Dina in the bed with the guy, <laughs> Dario, and he's saying to her, oh, I haven't, he said, I haven't had, he hadn't made sex in three months. What the hell does that mean? The next morning, Dina's like, okay, whatever, he was a good guy, so Dina's crazy. Snooki has the same off and on as the night before, and I see that she likes to do that, don't know why. And her and this dude, Jeff, they're all in the house and she's showing him the stripper pole and she's like, work the pole, work the pole. Homeboy grabs onto the stripper pole and does like a spin and ends up dropping and breaking the pole. They go to the boardwalk. They're drinking, everything's fun and la 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 until Jeff tells Snooki that he dated some girl for three years and they were practically engaged. She got the impression that this dude wanted a long-term relationship that he wanted to get married. So after that, she was done, she was over, she was like, on to the next one. Later that day, the girls decided to go to the sex shop. And before the girls left out, Ron 
told Sam, can you please clean out the fridge? You and the girls, can you just clean up because we're gonna cook tonight? The girls didn't do that. They ended up going to the sex shop and tried on sexy outfits. They walk into the house. Ron's like, oh, thanks Sam for cleaning stuff up. And Paulie's like, it's always a fight, it's always a fight. So the guys are upset. You could tell in Ron's voice that he hates her. He hates her so much. So Sunday dinner's made, everyone's sitting around. It's just weird. No one's talking, no one knows what to say, but everyone agreed that this was the weirdest Sunday dinner that they've had so far. Everyone decides that they're gonna go out to a bar. They didn't go to Karma this time. Dina hangs out with the dudes because the other girls don't wanna go and then Sam was supposed to go, but she decided to stay at home and fight with Ron. <laughs> so the dudes are with Dina and Dina is getting down and she's just face down, ass up all night. She's a good time. At this bar, stalker Danielle is there. So she's stalking Pauly D again. This time, Pauly D's like, my eyes are open, I'm aware. If she tries to throw a drink in my face again, I'll know what to do. He's just like, oh, I'm gonna take her home. And I just remember the other cast members saying, why are you taking her home? She's a stalker girl. His excuse is that he wanted to see if she's changed. Stalker Danielle went back to the house with Polly and Vinny was there. Vinny does not like this girl. Everyone else was around and they were just laughing at her and saying, why are you back in the house? Vinny was so funny. He just didn't like her and he told her to her face that he didn't like her. The episode ends with, of course, Sam and Ron fighting. Ron must feel miserable because she's just on his ass, just constantly, constantly saying, well, should we break up? Should we not break up? Ron is trying to get away from her and she keeps following him downstairs, upstairs, in the backyard, whatever. She keeps saying that she wants closure and he's just like, Sam, there's no closure. Basically, they broke up once again. In my last recap, I figured that everything would be better once Sam stopped being bitchy and her and Ron were finally together, but things are just the same. This episode wasn't as exciting as last week, but I'm really looking forward to this week coming up, this Thursday, because they show Sam riding away in a cab. So I think she she's really gonna leave this time, but who knows. This past Thursday, while I was watching Jersey Shore, a friend of mine, uh, Patrice C, decided to hold a Jersey Shore chat. And I joined the chat and I also Twittered. It was such a good time. I remember just typing and watching the show and laughing. I want to give Twitter shout outs to Two For One, Kizzy, Fanny Lynn, Iron Man Bobby, SK Dickers, and Patrice C. Thank you guys for watching my Jersey Shore recap. Remember to tweet with me every Thursday, 10 p.m. Bye.